Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a shelf declutter video. So I already decluttered this whole shelf last week. I'll have the video linked down below. For today, we are going to be tackling those set of shelves. I mean, I didn't get rid of tons. I already filmed it, but this is just the intro. I never get rid of tons, but I just organized a bit, um, saw what I had, all of that kind of thing, you know, does that make sense? I will leave my Poshmark linked down below if you guys want to purchase any of the makeup items I'm going to be decluttering. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So here are what these shelves look like. Like I mentioned in my other video, my brother actually built me these shelves. He should be selling them on Amazon very soon. So if you guys want to purchase them, I will keep you posted, of course. Love them. But yeah, here is what we're working with. We have a lot to tackle today. I'm really excited. Let's do this. Also, I did declutter a bunch of other drawers on my own. So in addition to what's on the shelves that's going to be on Poshmark. These are going to be on Poshmark as well. I have goods in here from like Buxom, NARS, um, Urban Decay, just tons of goodies. Okay, so first I think I'm going to tackle my mists. You guys know I'm in love with mists. I literally have a full shelf of them, but there are definitely some that I feel like I just don't need to have in my life at this point. I have a tons of these MAC Fix Pluses, just a small little ones that are scented. I'm not crazy about the pineapple one, and I don't feel like I need to have all of them in my life because I have so many other ones, you know? So I think I'm going to declutter the pineapple and the um, cucumber one. And I am going to keep these three for myself. I also have these three MAC Fix Pluses. This one right here is almost done. Keeping that one. Um, the, the, this is beautiful. <laughs> I'm keeping it. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one though. Okay, then I have these five right over here. I have the Festival uh, Refresh Mist from Too Faced. I'm going to declutter that. The Stay Spray. I love keeping. Dewey said ABH Keeping. Milk Hydro Mist is a new one to me. They recently sent it over, so I still want to keep it. This ColourPop All Star one. I'm not a massive fan. I don't feel like it really does anything for my face, so I'm going to declutter. And then Dewey Coconut Setting Mist Elf, one of my favorites, keep. Then I have these five here, the Laura Geller Spackle Mist. I'm going to declutter the Everyday Vacay one. I really haven't used much from Seattle London, but I'm going to say goodbye to it. Seal the Deal by Flower Beauty. The wording is pretty much off. I love this. It's almost done. going to keep. Makeup Setting Spray by Kula with SPF 30. I'm going to keep the Eve Lum one. I think it's nice. I just don't really gravitate towards it um, a ton, so I'm going to declutter. And then the Algenis one, I'm going to declutter as well, even though I liked it. But, I mean, there are other ones that I think I like more, so I'm going to say goodbye. Then I have these five. I have a mini of the primer water, which I'm going to keep. The Crystal Clarity Primer Water in Sweet Orange and Lavender, I'm going to declutter. I liked it, but I feel like I just have too much of the same like item kind of thing. This I'm also going to declutter. I liked it, but I'm going to say goodbye. The original primer water, I'm going to keep. The Airbrush Flawless is somewhat new to me by Estrella Tilbury, so I'm going to keep that. And then the Makeup Magnet Mist, I'm going to declutter. Next, we have these five. I have a little one of these uh, Vital Greens Face Mist by First Aid Beauty. Love the brand. Love their products. I just I want to keep this little guy. Uh, the Dewey Set A Little Baby by ABH. I have the full size already, so I'm going to declutter this one. The Cover Girl Look Lock Up. Look Lock Up, yeah. Declutter. I didn't really feel a vibe with that. Uh, Barber Fresh Up Thermal Spray. I'm going to declutter this one. I'm going to declutter as well. Don't really use it. And then the Dew Mist by Bare Minerals. I'm going to keep. Next, we have these five goodies. I have this Pixie Glow Mist, which I really like for if you, especially if you have um, dry skin, this is great. Uh, the All Nighter by Urban Decay, the Cherry One. Love keeping. Um, the Tatcha Luminous keeping. Tarte Sea Boost keeping. The Wet n Wild keeping. And the Makeup Mist and set by Elf. I'm gonna declutter. Then I have these few here. I have the Morphe Continuous Mist, which is fairly new, but I think I'm gonna say goodbye to that one. The Marc Jacobs one, I think I like, but the the, the nozzle on it kind of sucks, so I'm gonna say goodbye. I don't know. I guess I could pour it into a different bottle, but it's okay. I'm gonna say goodbye to that. The Rose uh, Wet and Wild Mist. I'm gonna declutter. This one by Wet and Wild. I'm gonna declutter as well. The Farsali one. I'm gonna declutter. And then the Makeup Fixer by Ofra. I'm gonna declutter because I know it's a little more on the older side and um they repackaged it already so i'm gonna say goodbye to uh all of these yeah these are the final uh, mists that i have i have this white and wild one that i'm going to declutter the elf active one i'm going to declutter the offer one i'm going to keep this morphe continuous mist is almost on its last leg so i'm going to keep that morphe and jeffree star continuous mist i liked i like the mist on it because it's continuous and it's cool but this specific one gives me such a headache i cannot i thought i can deal with it but i can't so i'm going to declutter and then the refresh hydrating setting spray by koki i'm going to keep and then i just had to show you guys how dusty this is oh my goodness here is what I'm gonna declutter so far and all of that is what I'm gonna keep sucks <laughs> In here, I pretty much just have my Claire glosses I know I mentioned that I'm gonna make a Claire gloss video and I plan on still doing that So here's pretty much where I house them. I'm gonna keep all of these
Okay, so here's what the shelf pretty much looks like after I wiped it down, cleaned it up. I'm definitely not gonna keep it like this. I just put it like like this for now, just to see kind of like what I'm working with. Definitely better than before. Uh, looking at all of this, I'm just thinking I'm gonna declutter this Tarte uh, Stay Spray, even though I think it's pretty good, but I have other ones that I would love to get through like sooner. And then I think I'm also de gonna declutter this right here, the, I think this is the Rose Mac Fix Plus. I do have to put these back just for the video because I've been using them so much lately. Um, so they were around. It's kind of dirty. But yeah, okay, we'll leave that there. Okay, so this is pretty much my next set of shelves. Of course, this little uh, garland here has got to go. It's definitely not raw anymore. So this is where I house my Natasha Denona palettes mainly. my Most of my luxury lipsticks, I will say, and glosses. I also have some of the ColourPop lippy sticks, some of these liquid lipsticks, and a Natasha Denona little heaven space right over here. I do have the Natasha Denona bronze palette up front. I love this. The glam palette is also so beautiful. I'm keeping all of these. I don't know if I said that already, but yes, I'm keeping these babies. We got the love palette as well. And this right here is the sunrise. I think that this is my least favorite from the bunch. I think I used to be more into this color story like maybe a year, year and a half ago. Now, not so much. I still use it, but not as crazy about this one as I am with the others. And then I also have the sunset palette, which I'm going to keep as well. Then we have these luxury lipsticks. So this right here also was here. I put that there, you know in the like full time so that has got to go other than that i think i'm gonna keep all of these i have ysl lipsticks uh charlotte celebri natasha denona ones back here which i love um some pat mcgrath glosses here some pat mcgrath lipsticks full sizes and little ones and then some ysl lipsticks here as well so i'm gonna keep this these i'm gonna go ahead and declutter i did get them i think in boxycharm or ipsy i just watched them i never use them on my lips i'm gonna say goodbye as for the lippy sticks, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep most of them. Uh, maybe declutter this blue one, actually. Um, this TGIF one I'm probably not going to use. I honestly don't even know what's limited edition and what's not. I'll have to go through these, but also maybe this one I'm also going to declutter. I'm never going to wear this. But yeah, I think I'm going to go through these on my own and see what I want to keep, what I like, and what I don't. And then as for what's in here, um, this is pretty much where I house most of my little baby Natasha Denona palettes. I also have these bigger five pan palettes as well. So as for these little ones, you guys know I'm obsessed with these guys. Uh, the newest one to her collection was the Love One, which I did a, a first impression on, on like the whole collection, if you guys want to check that out. But yeah, I have like this one. I also did a ranking video with these little guys. This one, this nice neutral one, of course the Love One. We have this, I think that's a star one. This is the sunset or sunrise, this one. And then these three guys back here. Um, I am gonna declutter these though. This right here I got in BoxyCharm. I really love the whole color story and everything, but it's not a palette that you can pick up regularly. It's not available. I think it was exclusive for BoxyCharm and since I can never really speak about it, um, I think I'm gonna say goodbye. Even though I do love the color story, I have other shades that I could work with. So I'm gonna declutter that. And then this right here is not necessarily limited edition, I don't think. But I have a bunch of other shades like this from her little ones, I want to say. Um, and I don't gravitate towards these bigger five pan palettes per se. I love like the little baby. So we're going to say goodbye to this one as well. Then we're moving up towards my third shelf. Here I have most of my Too Faced goodies, I wanna say. I have a decent amount that I wanna declutter, so let's do this. So firstly, I have this little section here. I have these little ones by Too Faced, like the palettes. I have the hot butter one, which I'm gonna keep. This cookie one, which I'm gonna keep. Um, this one I'm gonna keep. <laughs> Shake your pom-poms I'm gonna keep. Um, I love these guys, they're really, really good. And some of them are limited edition, but I'm not ready to get rid of them yet. These I'm going to declutter though. I feel like the quality of these suck. I kept them because they're so cute, but I think I'm ready to say goodbye. This is the like white chocolate chip. Really cute, but unfortunately the quality is just not there, you know? And then we have the chocolate chip palette. I'm going to say goodbye. Also in regards to these little guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep them for now. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, let's keep them. Moving to this section here, I have a bunch of the Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks by Too Faced. Some in like limited edition packaging and some regular ones. I think I'm going to keep all of them, love them. I, I collect these, I would say. Um, but I'm going to get rid of the Melted Latex. I did not like the quality of that. And then I'm going to take this off too because that was part of the fall vibe. Uh, I also have this little black book of 
bronzers. It's kind of cute, I have to say. I love it. It basically includes a bunch of their bronzers to the most part, and maybe some highlighters. I kept it for the cutesiness and like for decoration purposes, but I think I'm like ready to part with this. I'm gonna say goodbye. And then moving on to this little section here, firstly in the back, I have this little pamphlet from my collection with Ofra. So I did collaborate with Ofra um, this past September on an eyeshadow palette and a lip duo. If you guys are new here, if you're not new here, you already know. But yeah, that's me right there, Liara. And then next up, we have these palettes right here from Too Faced. I think I'm gonna say goodbye to the Sweet Peach palette. I think it's just time to say, to say bye. <laughs> here is what the palette looks like. Really beautiful. It was really hyped up at the time. I don't feel like I necessarily gravitate towards this way too much these days, so I'm gonna declutter. I'm still going to keep the Gingerbread Spice palette. I'm not ready to say goodbye to this yet. I'm also going to keep the Gingerbread Extra Spicy palette. This right here is the Pumpkin Spice palette, the newer one that just came out this past year I'm going to keep. And then I have the Clover palette as well. Which a part of me was going to declutter this. I don't think I'm ready yet, so I'm going to keep this too. Next, we have this shelf right over here. So I pretty much just have my collection with Ofra Cosmetics. One of my subscribers, Izzy, like bedazzled this for me, which I thought was so cute, so I wanted to display. I have a lipstick here that I created with Bite Beauty um, in their lab. I, of course, named it Yum. And then here's what the shade looks like. I want more of like a J-Lo vibe lip. It's so pretty. Other than that, I have these flowers here that were sent to me a while ago, and then this Huda Beauty Advent Calendar box, which I thought was cute to display. Um, also, oh, this palette was bedazzled by Izzy as well. Then I have two brand new palettes and then two brand new uh, lip duos that I just have for backups for myself, which I might put in a giveaway in the future or keep. I'm still not sure. So this whole shelf, I'm going to keep. And then I have this shelf right over here, which pretty much just includes two Starbucks tumblers. One from two years ago. That's from last year, I want to say. And I have one from this year as well. I collect those. Rivka gave me that for my birthday a while ago. I have the MAC Advent calendar from last year. I thought the star was really cool. So the only um, makeup goodies I have here are these and these, which we're going to get to now. Okay, so here is what we're working with with these organizers. Also with these, I, I did tie them on um, back in the fall. I have basically like deluxe size lipsticks in here. So a ton from MAC, some from the Snow White and Bessie May Collection. I think that's what they were called. And more from MAC here. And then the Bauman and L'Oreal collection down there um i have a ton of these mac little ones i think i'm gonna go ahead and declutter all of them i might try to back to mac these i don't know how, what the story is with like the lux size products like mini size but i might back to mac um yeah most of them and i might keep like one or two i'll look through these on my own to see what i want to keep or what i want to declutter but i will say like 98 percent is gonna i'm gonna say goodbye I also have the full collection of the Bauman and L'Oreal collection. These are really nice at the time. I did purchase all of these on my own, but I think I want to declutter. I don't tend to use them way too much these days. And then also with these little ones, the Marc Jacobs, the NARS, and then the Besame ones, like the Snow White one. Um, a part of me wants to keep them, but I haven't used these in such a long time, so I'm going to say goodbye. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it in regards to the makeup. You guys will probably see all of this organized in a different way in my makeup collection video. That should be up soon. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with um, what we tackled today. I wanted to pop by my uh, nail polish section here. So I got this organizer from Amazon, I want to say. And I love all these polishes to the most part, but I kind of feel like it's a bit excessive. And there are a decent amount that I just don't use. I just, I don't love the color. Okay, so I think I want to declutter this one. Not crazy about that color. This. I'm also not crazy about this color. This one right here is a little bit too sheer for me, so I'm going to say goodbye. In regards to these, I have a lot of similar ones. So I think I'm going to declutter this one. I don't really love this one. Mm, one second here. This one. This one. And this one. Actually, in regards to these shades as well, I'm not crazy. I don't know. I don't love these kind of colors. These like greenish gray i don't like how they look on my fingers and then i think i want to declutter maybe this one as well yeah okay so that is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed decluttering with me i'm looking forward to having my makeup collection video up soon so definitely stay tuned but looking forward to reading your comments down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye